Okay, here we go. The BBO weekly weekly free. You go to solitaire weekly free instant tournament. These are the same hands for all of us until uh, for till next Thursday. And when you're watching this, you can play the same exact hands. See what I'm thinking and what you did, and compare the two. And hopefully, I can show you a couple things here and there. Not always. Show you a couple things what not to do many times. <laughs> all right. So partner open. So we could just, eh, no, we don't quite, it's 1415. So we probably both have 15. We do have four, both four card majors. I was thinking we could do a quantitative, but we don't quite, um, because this is best hand, um, we each have 15. So I know we're at 30. <laughs> uh, so we do have a, a fit. Now with a fit, do we have enough? If partner has, Ace King of Hearts, let's say Ace King of Spades. We still would have loser, a couple losers there and there, maybe. I think four hearts is our is our spot. Could make six. All right. So diamonds, we don't have any losers, spades a potential loser, and we can trump a club. We're even. So we can count loser really from either direction. Actually, we can get rid of the club. Well, we can trump that. Get rid of a spade. That doesn't really help us. So here we go. So basically it comes down to how many hearts we're going to lose. Um, do we want to play? We can lead up to. We do have the jack through the seven. Oh, <laughs> so we got a five of a split. Holy cow. All right, so we got king, queen five times over there. Holy cow. All right. This is really about the only card I'm too concerned about. It's getting this guy trumped or getting this guy. We can't even. That one got trumped. We need a doubleton queen of spades. Where do we finesse for it? Let's see if it's a singleton queen. <laughs> oh, all right. Wow. Well, it wasn't a wacky distribution hand for us, but for the opponents it certainly was we had five hearts and five and four five four in the majors over here five, oh they got rid of three okay so it's five five three okay all right interesting so quantitative no trump raise there would be you have say 16 you ask partner it goes one no four no and you're asking them to go the six no if they're high end of their one no trump opener or just pass if they're low end Seven, nine, ten, thirteen, fourteen, nineteen. Right? Five, nine, fourteen, fifteen, eighteen, four, six, nine, thirteen, fourteen, eighteen. Okay. So open this a club. We can see we can do a reverse or jump to two no. We'll see what happens when it gets back to us. I think we'll do a reverse here. We're showing a strong hand because we did it in the reverse order. Now partners go into three diamonds. I really would like them to tell us if they have a, <laughs> uh, a spade stopper. But uh, they have not. So we might have two losers right out of the gates in, in diamonds, but we might have even more in no trumps. So let's hope partner has the ace of diamonds and they're going to six, okay. All right, so they ace queen, so diamonds, so spades, they did have the ace. 
So this actually is going to eliminate our heart loser. Well, we not for sure yet. We have to we we'll have to trump trump those guys unless we can set up clubs for our losers. Let's hope we don't have a five zero split again. We do not. <laughs> I think that's gonna be my plan is to ideally stop the club. All right, we did get a three-two split, so we're good there. Now we're gonna no, actually we're gonna leave that as an entry. So let's see what we have in clubs. We're looking for we don't need a we have um all right, so we got some sort of favorable split. I guess there could have been an outside chance of that King of Hearts falling. I could have played for that, I guess. Didn't. I don't have a way of getting there at this point now. <laughs> so we made our didn't really have a way of making it if I wouldn't have got the split. So I'm not sure if that was the best way to play it or not, but it makes. And we got to six diamonds and we're off to a great start. So setting up those clubs apparently was the key as plenty of others got to six diamonds but didn't get the tricks. Okay, so set up those clubs. Those are great ways to get tricks. 7, 14, 17, the best way in my opinion. <laughs> Oop, I could open a no trump there. My partner bid a no trump. All right, so we will bid. Two no trump, and we're going to go to three. Okay. So others will have opened that a no trump potentially, and so the lead would come from the other side. So we do have two stoppers in spades. And clubs are a danger suit. I Hopefully the case of clubs is over here. So we're gonna to try to save the entry over there. Generally, if you don't have a set plan, you save entries to the weaker hand. And this is the weaker hand, less entries. So um, we're gonna to hope to see the queen, uh, we're gonna to hope to see two, two in diamonds. And will we? We did, okay, so the diamonds are set up. Um, are we gonna, so I wanna try to decide if we're gonna try to mess around in hearts. Mess around in hearts, that gives us a chance that they can get the lead over here and um, set up the, we'll do a one-time mess around, see if we can see that queen. Love to see the queen right about now. We did. Okay, so now we're not going to be able to get back here. <laughs> Oops. Need to leave diamond flexibility, I guess, because the ten of hearts is now set up, but it actually doesn't do us any good. <laughs> Shoot. All right. We mess around trying to lead the clubs at this point. Well, I guess we could go ace of spades, king of hearts, it sets up the spades, but it guarantees we make the contract. So I guess that's the best I'm going to be able to do at this point. But now I've set up all their other suits. 
And um, if I do the club earlier, I'll be able to get a club trick. I have everything stopped. Ah, they still let to say there. There we go. <laughs> so I think there's a way to do it. You know, there's yeah, there's a plus two, a couple plus twos. Well, six diamonds again. Look at that. Six of the minor. Getting top boards. Seven, ten, fifteen. Okay, so we've got an unusual no trump. It shows the minors. Big fan of these bids, unusual no Trump and Michaels. I love to show partner two suits, give them two options. Um, what's that double mean? Takeout double, okay. So they're asking partner to bid hearts or spades. I think the redouble shows that I'm, um, yeah, shows my strength. Well, it's, that singleton king of hearts is questionable. <laughs> We're still gonna bid four clubs. Partner had to bid there, so they, oh boy. Um, that's a problem. That's going to show zero or three, and they're going to take that as three. So we're going to have to do this. Oh boy. So we have two key cards, and uh, we don't have the Queen of Trumps. So now we're going to, we didn't get doubled in six clubs. <laughs> So we've got ace of spades, ace of diamonds. So five clubs would be a beautiful place. And we actually potentially have a club loser. So, so let's hope we're down one only. Let me know how you guys bid this one to not end up in six. Yeah, we have no way to pitch all of them, so I might as well just lose the Ace of Diamonds whenever they want to take it. Yeah, that's too bad. On one, we'll see. We can take a peek at how others got there and or you can explain to me how to end up in five. I don't really want to pass the, um, not bid the four clubs. So how did they get there? They bid the five clubs showing the zero to three and they pass, okay. So that was not, <clears throat> anyway, thought about that. <laughs> thought about lying by whatever it was going to be 7 10 12 14 7 10 12 14 no trump or club no stretch by one double so partner's showing um four spades there we have hard stops so we're going to bid no trump and partner's going to force us to bid again. <laughs> um, and I'm going to try to still end up in no Trump and maybe they'll. All right. So I don't know what they're doing here. The best to partial stop. I, I don't. I'd like to be in, you know, two clubs. Would be fine with me as well. It's three clubs. But why they kept bidding there. I'm not sure. Oh, wait. Diamonds are wide open. How'd they get off to a diamond lead? Uh oh, trouble. <laughs> All right, that's going to work out just fine. The diamonds are wide open, friends. But we've got five club tricks to run. Heart trick. Yeah, 
and uh, we're gonna have to see if we can come up with a spade trick. Two speed tricks, I should say, is what I'm going to try to figure out here. Wow, look at that. It's an interesting play. They have the king and the jack. There's really no incentive to play. What? Why would you play the queen? I don't know what's going on here. I guess I should have taken the ace of spades. I was just so confused, didn't know what to do. <laughs> We're down one. That's my bad. Down one is 40, you know, 39%. I don't know. I just got so confused. Should have just still played it. Seven, eight, 12, 16. All right. So no Trump opener. I'm okay with two doubletons. Um, you know, some are not, <laughs> but I am fine with this shape. And we found a spade fit. Even better. So now these two suits become assets <laughs> and runnable diamonds. So, okay. Hearts look good. So two club losers and maybe a spade loser. Uh, we can uh, get rid of two. Yeah, and that's not going to help us. So we have the top three honors. So in general, the way I suggest you play this is you'll lead up to the one with a two in case you see something like a void or whatever, but we did not. So we at least the worst case, we got a four one. And... We, it's exactly what we got. So now we know where the jack is. So this gives us the flexibility to, to finesse that yet. Um, go ahead and do the diamond. Or they can maybe trump because that was potentially a singleton lead. And I think we'll just play it to lose the two, potentially lose the two clubs in the end. So we're going to end up that we come over. It was not a symptom lead. <laughs> the other way. Yeah, I could have played this different too like to try to get a club trick. But at this point, I'm just going to have to lose two clubs. I didn't think it through. Queen was there, so if I had gone up to the jack, I would have got another trick. Yep, I needed two. Boy, rough run of it here. Not uh, looking for that extra trick, and it's really hurting me. That one just not taking the extra trick <laughs> was the problem. Seven, eight, nine, twelve, fifteen. We got a one heart opener. Uh, so when an invitational hand, I like to look at loser count here. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. So right on the fence, but we do have an extra heart. So we'll go ahead, accept the invite. And they lead the ace of spades. So we have loser in spades, potential loser in clubs, and potential loser in hearts, but probably not. So we're looking like we're in a good spot. Let's not give up an extra trick like I've been doing. They could get a trump in spades, potentially. Um, we do have, you know, 10 trumps. So we're going to lead low again in case we see a void, then we might be able to do something, but. And we did see a void. So we know the queen is over here. 
we just have to cover whatever they have. Six. When you see one hand out, you don't need to overthink it. Just cover whatever they play and you're good to go. Clearing out the spades. So I leave the jack, the cover, they have the queen, the cover, it sets up the 10. And I think the double 10 queen is the best player, but I've been doing pretty much everything the opposite. I'm finding extra tricks. So do the opposite of what I'm doing. Sorry about today, just not quite getting it done for you, but. They set up extra tricks, you know, to try to get extra tricks while you have everything stopped. And that's really what I messed up on six and, and five. I just forgot to take the ace of spades base, didn't take it. Seven, nine, 13, 14. Another 14 point hand. Sometimes I'll go either a little lighter or a little stronger to open a no trump here. And this time I'm gonna too. <laughs> the reason I like to there is it does bring in stamen and transfers. So, um, you know, whether, and I would have to say in, on average, it's been working out for me. So, I mean, I do play no trump as 15 to 17, but in fourth C, I'll sometimes do 14 or 18 just to give the other, you know, bring in the other bids. And we're looking for clubs to be three, two, and they were, so clubs are good. And that's potential entry if we need it. We're hoping they didn't do that because diamonds could run. So we're hoping they didn't jump up, which is part of why I was leading that way, the way it was, trying to keep them confused. <laughs> it didn't work. So now they are leading the last club. That's very interesting. Well, they had ace, king of spades, and they decided to lead diamonds instead. So what they did was they knew they had a diamond seat they needed to work on and they were gonna use the spades as their, um, as their entries to be able to set up that. So when you have that, it isn't always best sometimes to um, lead your suit with the ace king because you, like, like I was just saying, that, that can then be used to get in. So that was the, the dummy, the defense there that I'm talking about. And we got a hundred percent board there. Um, so that brought me back into respectability. Hopefully you, you still will uh, watch me again next time. If you <laughs> made it this far, if you didn't tune out at boards uh, four, five, and six. <laughs> anyway, um, hope you enjoyed. If you're not a subscriber, please do so. I do these um, to help you with your bridge game and, and others. Uh, it's a great game, really. There's so much to it. Um, it can be very frustrating because uh, it feels like you're, uh, many times you're not getting anywhere with this game, but uh, I think that's the appeal. I think there's just so much to it um, that it's just a blast. So anyway, hopefully you enjoy and uh, we'll see you next time. That's uh, you access these for free. BBO, you go to Solitaire, BBO Weekly Free, and uh, we'll see you next week if not sooner.